You know, when all this began unfolding this morning, I was sitting there with my wife at the house, my 17-year-old son about ready to head out the door and go to school. Tap the brakes. Hang on a second. So lots of schools had to deal with a whole lot in a very short amount of time. And here in Grapevine, specifically Grapevine Middle School, they had the same issue right before them. We wanted to see how things went. Our Andrea Lucia live tonight in Grapevine over at the middle school to give us a little grade on the backside. How did it all go? Yeah, well, you know, parents had very nice things to say about how, how this all went. This campus did have roof damage. In fact, you could uh, see a piece of the roof right here next to me with the screws still hanging out. And one thing I noticed just kind of moving this around is how heavy it is. It's really hard to imagine this coming off of that roof. Some of the kids that we talked to that were inside at the time said, you know, when they were first asked to shelter in place, they really did think that this was just a drill. This is something that they practice regularly, taking shelter in hallways, in bathrooms, in the gymnasium. But in middle school, a lot of kids have cell phones and they were able to look at their phones and see reports of a possible tornado in their area. When our coaches told us to get on the wall, cover our heads. 14-year-old Gavin huddled in the Grapevine Middle School gym, imagining the worst. I was scared. Like, I honestly had a feeling that something was going to hit through the walls and like all of us are going to get hit or that thing would just take out the whole school and then, you know, none of us, none of us would be here. The smell of natural gas later prompted Grapevine Colleyville ISC to evacuate the campus. Students at two schools that lost power were also dismissed early. The school district did a great job, lots of communication. We were getting regular texts. Several parents we spoke to praised the district for keeping them informed. Over roughly four hours, it posted 15 updates to its website and social media. They are so on it as far as communicating with parents and keeping everybody in the loop. Other districts, including Plano ISC, sent messages to parents when students sheltered for weather and when it resumed normal operations. Decatur ISD says it used all methods of communication to alert parents a tornado warning had been issued with buses still on the road and that students had been sheltered at the closest campus. Uh, she's just pretty shaken up. Be good to get her. Parents picking up their kids say they were happy knowing they're safe. Well, Grapevine Colleyville ISD had yet another update just about 15 minutes ago. They said that most of the roof damage here is really uh, on the athletic wing of the school, the area with the classrooms, with the cafeteria, that is all unaffected. They also said the power is still out, which you can see, but they hope that is going to be resolved overnight. So as of right now, they are planning on having school back here tomorrow morning. Doug.